Hi, this is Jay, and I'm here to give you a quick update on the current work in progress of the official portrait of the late, great, my dear friend, Eugene Berger. Now I'm recording this introduction after I've actually done the update because this is a selfie video and the update is me with the camera around the right way. And I said that the photographic reference this was based on, Larry Haas used on the cover of Final Secrets. I was wrong. It was from beyond. Two wonderful books, which I was absolutely honored and humbled to illustrate for Larry. Anyway, on with the update. Okay, to talk you through where we're up to, these are the two references that I'm using from Michael Kaplan's collection. And I know Eugene was really fond of this picture and Larry Haas used it on the cover of Final Secrets as well. Uh, it's a wonderful picture. So I've played with the lighting on the reference images and now starting to translate that onto the original painting. Some of the tone is in. I love hands. Absolutely love painting hands. And Eugene's onyx ring was also one of the features that called to me when I was looking at the references to paint this work. Yeah, so there's much more work to be done on the hands yet. And the interlocking fingers just, oh, I love it. Wonderful, wonderful. And then we've got this candle, which is illuminating Eugene. If I go back to the original reference, you can see it's actually quite dark, very atmospheric. So I'm playing with the light. So there's a little bit more light on Eugene's face. And yeah, we can just make out a tiny bit of light here to capture what would be the top of the ear, the back of the head. Um... Everything is always down to the eyes. And the interesting thing with the glasses, it's almost like a magic trick. They're not actually there. So even though you can see them, I haven't actually painted them. That's just uh, canvas showing through. Now, when it's finished, they will have a little bit of light and dark on. But it's great how they sort of, it's, it's almost like they're the negative space. And yet you can see them without them actually being there. An illusion in itself. So I'm really happy with how he's coming along and I just oh, I just wish Eugene would have been able to see the finished work. So a lot more stages to come yet. More sessions to get it finished and bring it into balance. But uh, if you're interested, do register because it will be on a first come, first serve basis to get one of the limited edition Gicli prints when they're released, hopefully sometime next month. Thanks for watching.